to build a story of a crime scene you are going to need a location a detective a car obviously a dead body or an obsession oh and some brambles wait if you have not heard about brambles they have been rightly given the name as vegetable calendars by a british forensic botanist dr mark spencer brambles are common in places where crimes have been committed This is not because they have an affinity for humanity but because they tend to grow near man-made habitats. So why are brambles of use when investigating crime scenes? The nearby plant life can hold important clues. When you arrive at a crime scene, the first question police ask is how long has this person been here? This is when brambles come in handy. These plants have an interesting growth pattern. If a person's remains are by a bramble plant, they will soon be covered by the plant's stems. In the first year, the stems grow but do not produce fruit. In the second year, these same stems produce fruit and then die. New stems are produced each year to replace the ones that died. So by counting the stems overarching the person, you can have a bit of an estimate as to how long it's been growing and the approximate time of death. Another way of looking into a crime scene is through pollens or fungal spores. If you walk into the wood after committing a serious crime, you will pick up the soil. In that soil, there may well be seeds, there will be pollen, fungal spores and bits of foliage. Pollen can cling to things like clothing and hair. Even washing with detergent doesn't remove them. This means they can be used as evidence many years after a criminal incident has taken place. Also pollen does not spread far away which can lead forensic botanists to trace back the parent plant and allow them to create a unique picture of the location a crime may have occurred. Whether it's brambles or pollens, plants never fail to amaze us. Thanks for watching and I'll appreciate if you can subscribe.